Every morning when I walk to my car, I look around a little bit to make sure that the dog isn't there because it's happened in the past where I'll, I'm getting in my car and the dog kind of comes out of nowhere. I have to sort of jump in really quickly. Caleb Brooks tells me this is his routine to avoid a great pit bull roaming his neighborhood. He says the dog gets out through a broken fence. There have been a few incidences of the dog um, killing local cats and attacking other dogs. The police were called one day after it attacked a man that was walking through the alley. Others have those same experiences too. I saw uh, like a big gray uh, male pit bull. It lunged towards me and then I just kicked it in the face and it ran off. Other residents sent us pictures and videos showing dogs like this one loose and barking. <laughs> Home surveillance catching another with a cat in its mouth. Here we have this issue again where the public is being threatened by these loose dogs and it is all a result of irresponsible dog owners. It's why last year Councilwoman Donna Purvis introduced an ordinance to require microchipping for all pets in Jefferson County. She tabled it because it didn't garner enough support. If the dog was confiscated, if the dog had been chipped, then you could identify who the dog belonged to. We came to Louisville Metro Animal Services where they say the process for picking up animals is based on priority. A dog running loose in an alley, while I don't like it, um, shouldn't be happening. Uh, I've got to send my officers to those, those life-threatening situations. But when one of their 17 animal control officers do pick up dogs, they become part of the estimated 7,500 annually that end up here. Many go unclaimed. They have no license tag, they have no microchip, um, no rabies tag, we have no signs of ownership. So that's 1,730 stray dogs every single year that um, Metro Animal Services has to try to find homes for. Brooks hopes for a solution soon. I'm sure that if you live in like Hurstbourne Acres, this, this, this means nothing to you, but it's really important for folks that are living in Portland and Shawnee. Reporting in Portland, Gladys Bautista, WOKY News.